procedurally it was wrong. But on the other hand, the, 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 the judiciary is the most competent authority. You, you feel to pronounce on the title dispute. On the title dispute. And then so, there's so a larger political dispute. What's wrong dispute. if the judiciary pronounces on the title dispute? Because, you know, even the BJP and Sangh Parivar have been now saying that they will respect the verdict of the court. Earlier the Muslims were saying we will respect the verdict of the court and the Hindus said this is a matter of faith, it's not governed by law. Now even the Hindus are saying it's, we will respect the verdict of the court. So all eyes are turned to the court. So why should the court then not discharge its responsibility and pronounce a verdict? Shagrika, if I may just come in. You know, if you look at the uh, what Mr. Elias was talking about, None of the petitioners are agreeable to a negotiated settlement at this point and they want a judgment. Now that's true. But I think this is a dispute which goes far beyond the immediate litigants. It's a dispute which has agitated society for a long time for legitimate reasons or otherwise. So I think we've got to take a far wider view of this thing. Secondly, okay, basically you're saying, if I could just interrupt you, you're saying, you know, let's get real, guys. This is not just a court case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not just. I mean, when Veer says that it would have been prudent on the part of someone like Manmohan Singh to have taken some initiative to getting a resolution of this, I think it's he's quite right about this. You know, the last attempt which was made was in 2004 and at 2004 you'd got to a stage where even you'd got it involved people like the Dalai Lama to act as honest brokers. That's a very good point. So the Dalai we were Lama. Getting, you you know, know. We, we were getting to a position to where it was possible that's okay. We would be narrowing the differences. You know, you know there are considerable differences but at least there would be some narrowing of the differences. Okay, and let you know, me get an SQR alias. It's always possible to judge. And I just want to make one last point regarding the courts being able to adjudicate about everything. You know, some time ago, a presidential reference was made to, to the Supreme Court about deciding whether a temple predated the building of the Babri Masjid in 1528. And the courts returned that reference saying, we are not the competent authority to judge this. Now, ironically, one of the issues which are going to be decided by the Ayodhya, uh, by, by the uh, Allahabad High Court, when, if, if it gives its judgment, is a decision on that. So but you Shokan, have as a bizarre Yogen situation saying, where the but Allahabad High saying, Court... But, and, you know, uh, but, 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 but as Yogen is saying, if the court is uncomfortable with this case, why doesn't it come out openly and saying this is not in our competence, this is not in our jurisdiction? No, to, today, was not the issue, today was not the time for it. So today they passed a temporary order restraining the judgment till 28th. Now okay. the full hearing is going to take place on the 28th. Now I don't know what's going to be the let decision. Me put, uh, let but me that's put the two my solutions. Uh, let me put the two solutions that have come out. One from Veer saying there should be a political settlement with an outreach from the Prime Minister. One from Chopin saying a larger spiritual leader, someone like the Dalai Lama, someone with stature can possibly mediate. Mr. S Q R. Or a political body. You know, or a political or, or a political body, but someone with with you know stature and and that kind of gravitas. Mr. Ilyas, would you be amenable to, 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 these, to these two solutions if the government did an outreach and perhaps uh, uh, put in a solution or if a spiritual leader came and tried to negotiate? You know, government has given it their mind that uh, only judicia ju judiciary should solve this matter. You know, Mr. Ma uh, in Congress in their manifesto in 1994 and in 1998 also, they have spelled out that only judicial solution is possible for, for this complex uh, issue. And uh, recently, uh, Mr. Chidambaram has made an appeal that let us wait for the court verdict and if it goes against anybody, they can approach the Supreme Court. It means the government is very clear. Let the okay. court decide. Okay, Secondly, our discomfort... Secondly, you know,